Hello. As we all know, an airplane flies. It flies due to the thrust of its engines and the lift under its wings. The engine's main function is to propel the plane. This is called propulsive energy. Naturally, a plane needs lots of energy to fly, and this is provided by a fuel called kerosene. Today, four kinds of energy are used to guarantee a smooth flight. Mechanical or propulsive energy, which is generated by the engines, hydraulic energy, pneumatic energy, and electrical energy, all of which are non-propulsive. These forms of energy supply, among other things, the electricity needed to pilot the plane, activate the landing gear, maintain the cabin pressure and air conditioning, de-ice the wings and contribute to overall in-flight comfort. But did you know that some of the mechanical energy is transformed into other types of energy? In fact, on a plane, electrical energy is generated by alternators that are connected to the engines, just like a miniature power plant. It's true that compared to hydraulic or pneumatic energies, electrical energy makes airplanes more environmentally friendly. Indeed, a more electric plane consumes less fuel, making it more economic too. Lastly, in the near future, maintenance of the more electric plane will be made much easier. For example, a reflectometry system will be able to detect and easily locate any malfunctions and even predict them before they happen. While electricity is already present in many systems, it's possible to take it a step further and use it as propulsive energy. That's why Safran is exploring every possibility to invent the planes of tomorrow. There, now you know everything, or nearly everything. Before we leave you, note that what's true for airplanes is also true for helicopters and hybrid engines are already being developed to give tomorrow's flying machines ever more optimized functions.